Hello everyone! You were asking me to make some fresh pasta recipe, so I made it. So today I'm gonna show you amazing fresh tortellini with cod filling and variation of peppers. So let's do it! I start with making pasta dough. I mix flour, eggs, olive oil and salt until I get nice dough. Always braid the eggs before you mix them so they combine better with flour. You can use machine as well but I wanna show you even with the hands it's not that hard to make it. Just make sure you work your dough enough. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I recommend you do it because I post them more cooking tips. And then put clean film around and leave it at least 30 minutes inside the fridge. Next, I gonna do burnt pepper sauce. First of all, I put peppers inside the oven on maximum heat under the grill until they get color. Now I chop one onion and on vegetable oil I gonna roast it. In a few minutes, I put also chopped garlic and bay leaves in. My peppers are black, but I wanted more. So I burned them more with this lighter. Now I close them inside the container and leave them cool it down. And now I can peel them easily. No worries, if you are not able to peel everything, just make sure you take out the black parts. You can use also knife for help. Now I take out also the seeds and cut few nice pieces for my garnish and the rest I chop and I use for my sauce. I roast some dry paprika with onions together 
for one minute and then I put my peppers in. And guys, if you like today's recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're first time here, click the subscribe button down below. So you're never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel, I'm gonna teach you every week how to go like a pro. Cover it with white wine, season it with salt and pepper and leave it to cook on medium heat. Now it's time to start with my filling. So I season my cod fillet with salt and pepper and I'm gonna bake it inside the oven 180 degrees Celsius until fish will be just cooked. Also chop few shallots to small brunoise Fish is ready now, so I'm gonna leave it on the side to cool it down In the meantime, I roast my shallots on vegetable oil In a few minutes, I put some white wine and reduce it down completely. Now I break the fish inside the mixing bowl. When it's completely reduced, so I put butter in and when it's melt, I mix it with the fish. I also chop chives, mix everything together and my cod filling is done. In this time, my peppers are cooked, so I just finish it with some double cream and mix everything together in the machine. Citrus du chinois and burnt pepper sauce is done. Now I'm gonna do some fried buckwheat. This is super easy to do. Just fry the buckwheat in very hot oil and in a few seconds take it out and put on paper towel to soak the oil. And if you're passionate amateur cook and would like to learn fine dining cooking properly, improve your plating, learn how you can make your own dishes and cook Michelin star recipes at home for your friends and family, book discovery call for my coaching, 
in the link in the description below and gonna teach you how you can cool like a real pro at home. I season it with salt, pepper and dry paprika and it's ready to go. Now I'm gonna do one more paprika garnish. First I peel yellow paprika, take out the seeds and then chop nice cubes. And later on, I'm gonna roast them fast on the pan. But now, it's time to finish my tortellini. I roll my dough three times. Start on a high size and go down slowly to medium low. Then I make some wheels and put some filling in the middle. Also brush around with eggs and make tortellini. I'm not really pasta chef, so they are not perfect for sure, but I did my best. Now I roast my pepper brunoise, season them with salt and pepper. Cook tortellini for around 2 minutes. This really depends on size of pasta you make and it's time to finish the dish. I start with fresh tortellini with cod filling with chives. Put also a few pieces of burnt peppers. Yellow pepper bruno.
My Amazing, Burn Pepper Sauce in the middle, some fried buckwheat, and I finish it with a few salad leaves. I hope you enjoyed this pasta recipe guys. If you like it, give it thumbs up. And if you want to learn more or get my personal cooking coaching, check out the links in the description below. And if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. So you're never going to miss any of my new video because on this channel, I'm going to teach you every week how to cook like a pro. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.